جود مورنينج اول اسعد الله صباحكم وي غانا توك توداي اباوت ستريتس اند رودز موست اوف اس از اركيتكتس لاندسكيب اركيتكتس اركيتكتس بلانرز وين وي ديزاين اند وين وي ار ات سكول وي سمتايمز دونت لايك تو اوبن بوكس اكسبت ان بروفيشنال براكتس اي فاوند اوت ذات موست اوف ذا بيبل دي دو somehow they do open books and the standard is always around you today i'll talk about planning and urban design standards which is a book published by john wiley and sons uh, by the american planning association apa you know there is american planning association american society of landscape architects american institute of architects and american institute of interior designers or interior architects And this book, which is written by Frederick Steiner and Kent Butler, they are from the University of Austin, of Texas at Austin. And the editor is Emina Sandich, the graphic editor, and it's published by John Wiley and Sons Incorporation. And I'll be talking about, and let me, uh, because I'm recording this, please just bear with me a few seconds so I can tailor my phone to the book just give me a minute please the book these standard books usually they are so important for us as landscape architects this is the book it's a student edition it's It's by Wiley. They produce these books. It's a very famous publishing company. And we will talk about hierarchy of streets and roads. Principles arterials. They provide long distance, trunk line, continuous routes within and between urban areas. Typically, but with some important exceptions, they carry high volumes of traffic. The minor arterials, they are the backbone of the urban streets. These are the major, the principles that they go. And if we are within a man area now in Jordan, we talk about from a man to the airport. This is a principles, arterial roads goes all the way to the northern portion of Jordan. And if you are, you move from the principal arterial, you go to the minor one and the minor As they say, the backbone of urban street network. They are continuous routes. They frequently designed as touring or uh, state numbered routes, occurring for only 10% of street mileage. Most trips include arterial streets, which means also they have a heavy movement of traffic. From the minor, from the principal, you go to the minor, then you go to the collector, streets which continually cover short segments one fourth to one half of a mile يعني حوالي نص كيلو لكيلو كيلو نص 0.4 to 0.8 kilometer collector streets are minor tributaries gathering traffic from numerous smaller local streets then you go to local streets so you have principal arterials the minor ones and then you have the collectors and from the collector you go to the locals Local streets include all streets not on a higher system. They compromise of 90% of streets in cities in the States and most of the time all over with, but they carry less than 10% of the total traffic volume of tra miles of travel. Access as mobili uh, and mobility. All urban areas provide some mixture of mobility, but this is not the main issue that I will be talking about. I will be talking about the two-lane street undivided the two-lane street divided and the three-lane street. And if you can see here, also they said, where is the source? The source is water collage. Source is water collage, water collage for this book. But if you can see, there is a nice schedule here, which tells you the traffic lane for the arterial is about the, the lane, which is this lane, L. They put sidewalk, V, P, Parking, lane, lane, parking, S. For the arterial is 12 feet, which is about 4 meters. 
for the collector is 3.4 and for the local it's 3.3 or less 3 meters mostly 3.2 for the local and that's saying that they go they talk about the turning lane they talk about the parking lane the median the verge which is the planting strip and they talk about the sidewalk for business sidewalk for residential and the taper length and the taper length is this length when the car start coming and reducing down at the stop look at the two lane streets you have about the taper link is about 20 meters 60 feet the collector about 13 and in the three lane street in the local almost the taper is about 10 meters so you have to be careful of really putting these in place while i was in akaba running akaba special economic zone in Isla, which is a beautiful resort up in the south, and um, in that, they have made in that resort, from the collector you do this, but if you go inside resorts, you could reduce the lane to 3.2, and mostly to 3 if you'd like, because you should calm the traffic. Most of the time in our part of the world, we are not calming the traffic. We are not calming the traffic. That's why it is very important. If you have a multi-lane street, undivided, then you start making things. If you have two lanes, you have two lanes, the medium, two lanes, parking, sidewalk. I will show you now a small sketch I did, and I want to share it with you, how I do streets. If you bear with me for a few seconds, I will get what I did yesterday, and I will share it with you because it is important i will draw it again and that's what i did and i will draw it using my good old tracing paper this is the tracing if you allow me just a few minutes I use my tracing, put it up here, and I sit aside. And that's what usually I do. I did a drawing, and I will repeat it now with all of my colleagues. Because it's our, now we have this lane, as we said, it's a two lane. Let me also fix my drawing so it does not tilt while I'm drawing. So I have, this is a car lane 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 which is a 3.4 3.4 and in major artery in in in, um, in the art minor artery is 3.4 3.4 then you could have a 1.2 meter and then you will have this This is a sidewalk, and this is a sidewalk. And these are my, the edge of the buildings. Look at that. Okay, so I will do this. And it's written how much. This could be 2.4 meters to 3 point, which is a multiple of 120, to 3.60. If you have a commercial activity, you could make it 2.4 or 1.4. This is the median, or not the median of the, the street. The median of street is here. This is the median where you have about 1.2 and another 1.2, 1.2, 1.2, where you have the greenery and you have the walk. Within the 1.2, you could pre recess things so you could put some seating. So let me draw this line here. 
So this is my lane, my lane, my lane. And look what I'm doing. Every, this what I call calming the traffic in commercial areas or commercial districts, I'm sorry. This is a bicycle lane. The bicycle lane. I am calming the traffic. And when you calm the traffic, you make these. I hope you can see this. Just give me a minute. So I can fix my camera. And they call it calming the traffic. The word now is calming the traffic. بحاولوا يهدوا حركة السيارات خصوصا في الماينر وفي الكوليكتر وفي اللوكل which means you make all our planners for the last 60 years they made the cars happy like what they are doing in Amman which means that you go through and they put a lot of tunnels and bridges to reach to the northern portion northern eastern part to the University of Jordan from the south or from the south districts and then you go all through these tunnels in about 10 minutes you reach there 15 minutes and there is a traffic block or a black spot we call them about 25 years ago 30 years ago there was about 95 black spots in Amman Jordan uh, now there's more than three or four three thousand five hundred black spots it's not because of the tracking traffic only jam it's traffic planning we should calm the traffic to move slowly but safely this will open channels more but to calm the traffic in commercial areas this is a car where you can have your car here it's coming all the way down uh, sorry it's going this way or this way and you calm it when you calm it you make up uh, you make about a strip where you have this kind of one to five or one to ten slope and then you will make this is like brick or basalt and this strip should be in most cases it's not what they do at two point meter three meter it should be six meters four to six meters at least where you can have a car comes into the hub and rest almost before it comes not you make it like two meters and then two meters and immediately we have this most of the time they make this 50 percent slope which means it's like a pump and uh, and it hurts the car it hurts the safety of especially if you are a bit speeding but if you make it smooth this is a way of we doing this and this is asphalt but this could be brick or it could be interlocking tiles or it could be a basalt blocks of 20 by 20 or 10 by 10. so we have this is our media and it varies the median as i said in the graphic standard it could range from 2.4 to 3.6 it depends on your two lanes and two lanes here this is my bicycle lane which unfortunately we don't have it in our part of the world and then you have two parts of sidewalks a sidewalk for people here and a median where you have it about 1.2 where you plant trees and you put high canopy trees but not that high canopy trees so it does not affect electrical lights or whatever in front of these shops and you make the spacing between them about five to eight meters you don't want to just block everything and then you have this walkway which is about 2.4 free accessibility to get into these shops as i said this is where i make my pedestrianized crossing and it should be all the way and usually with that I will put as they say directional signs or informational signs and this is also missing we only put stop signs and some people they don't but we flood the whole streets with signs sometimes they have no meanings usually you place the signs on both sides and now there is a new technology in Northern Europe, in the Scandinavian color, uh, uh, countries, where you can step on this and automatically ask those guys to stop. It's not a traffic line, 
each pedestrian. There is only one place in Jordan that has used this, and it was about 20 years ago when Akil Biltaji, he was chief commissioner of Aqaba, the first chief commissioner of Aqaba Special Economic Zone, he put a yellow bulb that switches off and on, telling people when they have crossing. And even in Aqaba, they have the largest sidewalks between the commercial and the streets. And people used it as a habit that people start stopping. It's a culture. You get used people to use it. Now, if you use this sidewalk, now I'm going to put, if you allow me, I will start drawing. These are the trees. This is my calming the traffic pedestrian crossing and usually you don't mock these things you should make these about 1.2 meter shaded in yellow or in white or whatever codes you are using and it continues in the median this is by the way the median Look at that. Even within the median, also, you should calm the traffic again. And this is my car or my bus coming up or going around or whatever. It depends on the direction. Now, if I put these trees here, and let me assume I'm using in Amman, Jordan, I'm using these Robinia Zudio Acacia, which is a colorful, smelly, nice smell aromatic plant of three colors the, the 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 pink the dark pink and the white and these are high canopy trees deciduous of course and you can plant them and this is the scale and they go about nine meters in height or eight meters and they go about five to six meters five meters in width and you don't put them facing the entries mostly you put them facing the entries of the buildings so that you orient people where they could see. Under these things, you could put what you call it a seating arrangements so people could use. This is my sidewalk for pedestrian, which is closer to the street. I'll make it with 30 by 30 interlocking tiles or cement tiles or whatever. But the ones here, I'll make it bigger. I'll make it larger. And it's much better if you could also use colors within this. Because this, when you finish and you move from one district to another district within the commercial, this usually helps identify for people the areas. So this could be also uh, what do you call it? Basel, because it's really good. People say it is expensive or cement tiles. It depends on the areas, but you need durability. Now somebody said, where is the drainage? Most of the time the drainage comes into, because if you look at this road here, there are two types of doing the roads. And let me draw it. Uh, two types of draining these roads. Either you will make it, if it's a two lane, If it's a two lane, I'm doing a section. You can crown your drainage, your road, which means up to 3% on both sides. And the water is collected here. And even in the sidewalks, water will come this way and then it will come into this drainage. And in the median here, because it's planted, it's inside, because the water runoff here is not that much. And on the other side of the road, I will do the same. This is, they call it, crowning your road. And here is the vehicle. Of course, it's not. I'm exaggerating in this case. This is one way. This is like pitching it. Now you could crown it. Crown. And the cars could move this way, two lanes. Or you could make it like this which means 2% slope and cars, you don't, you don't notice it, but usually the best is to make it in one side, on this side and this side. And when you do that, the drainage, the drainage designers, mechanical engineers doing the drainage, 
They do all the culverts and they do all the water and they make all the collections because hard services, when you have hard services, building hard services in towns, you need a, a major design for drainage system, especially for rainfalls when you have 25 or 30 flash flood warning. So this is quickly how we think about streets and street design. So we have this, now we move. We have the bicycle lane. In some countries, they make a separation here. Small separation, which is either like a small pump. So, and the bicycle is here and the car is here. So you have safety. Now, if you come to the median, this is the trick within the median. The median here, look what we are doing with the medians. The median, if I cut a section through the median, the median, you could, if it's two point, if it's 3.7 or 4.7, you could make the median, uh, I will enlarge it here for you. I will berm it. Berm it for noise. Berm it so noise do not, and then I don't plant. I'll stay one point meter here, one point meter. This is gravel or ground cover. This is, I will put some low shrubs like juniper species or herbaceous plants or whatever kind of a plant I would like or color. But it should be controlled. The juniper species, aromatic and does not, and in the median, in this one, I prefer, like what we're doing in Aqaba most of the time, we're planning the median, the median with the ficus dictylifera, which is the date palm. And look at that. Or on both sides, if we are in Aqaba on the Jordan Valley and we have the Ponciana japonica, which is a high canopy tree, you could do that. Other streets, you could also in the median, you could put the nice tree of the ficus nitida, which is an evergreen tree. So, but make sure that within the median, you have clear vision of when you put the trees. This is my Phoenix Dictylifera trees. And as I said here, I put my junipers and on both sides, I put the tooth or I could a herbaceous plants, or I put dew flower, or a succulent plant. At one time, we had succulent plants all the way from the southern circle to the southern portion of the airport. On both sides, they planted the, what do you call it, uh, um, uh, Carpoprutus edulis, which is Musil Hallag, or they call it, um, it, it was a beautiful succulent plant, uh, and those things, these are good. Or you could use, if you are in a specialized area, you want to spend a little bit more, you could put, put uh, some form of a ground flower. It looks like a grassy uh, weed, but you can put it on both sides. So this is quickly what we can do. Let me look at the picture again and how I do that. This is what I did yesterday as a practice. I'll go back. So this is a street urban space scale. Sorry. Yes. You should wait for me, please. Just wait for me, please. I am also online. So you excuse me. Wait for me till I tell you, please. Wait for me. I am online. So we have these the Phoenix Dictylifera. These are the two lanes. Pedestrian crossing. Between here and here, you could have 250 meters. You could reduce it. It depends how much you want to travel, but no less than 100 feet meters between the crossing. If this is a commercial, then you could have a bicycle lane. Then you have the pedestrian close to this. You have a curb. Then you have plantation. Then you have a tooth which is a mulch, and then you have the sidewalk. And you could open this, or you could ask people to come this way, or you could open it. You don't have to open it everywhere. You could open it here, 
and then you have this median but here it stops the median here the planting median between the commercial and the two lanes and the street differs then you have these 2.4 meters 3.4 sidewalks 3.4 meters sidewalk and when you have the entries to these buildings you could have it skewed like in some of the cities that you find in the states like in austin and the suburbs of dallas fort worth or if you have it in europe they will have in the old cities that you don't have the opening directly to the street it's either recessed or it's articulated where people could have and plus you should be careful there should be only six meters 60 centimeters for the overhanging uh, overhanging of uh, stores you don't like what we see in some parts of the arab world or in our part of the region signs are filling and they are pollution oriented because you don't tell people uh, uh, by the sign the sign does not give you a direction it should be small and precise and designed there is a very strict rule in Aqaba and in Petra concerning signs. Of course, Amman is adapting it, but unfortunately, this is what we should do, how to calm the traffic and how we should do with it. Traffic lanes, as we said in the standards, median planting, high canopy trees in the median, but they, I prefer those vertical plants for the visual because of the traffic movement. On both sides, there should be colored deciduous, evergreen deciduous. This is, and the colors could be Ponciana, Jacaranda, uh, it could be Mimosas, it could be, uh, uh, what do you call it, Castant al Hussan, ah, I forgot uh, the, the scientific name, it's off of my mind, but there is a selection of these plants for the roads. But when you come from the highway to the, ma to the ma ma major arterials, you go to the minor, then you go to the collector, and the local in the local don't make you could make the whole like marj al hamam scan marj al hamam or scan al dubbat anywhere or guess mil al dakhli al scan atay kbir these housing districts are notable you could select one plant but avoid putting olive trees in the streets they have expansive root system you don't put the willows because they have knees you should select the plant that mostly suitable to give color to give aroma. Some people they say why deciduous? ليش المتساقطات بتوسخ وبتسكر وا وا إلى آخره. This is not acceptable. Plants when they are deciduous they bring more birds. They have nice smell. They color identity. They shade in the summer and in the winter they will let access to the sun. Anyway, this is in short what I tried to share with you today and even. I did a little bit of a watercolor on a larger scale to out to show you what I did also on on this. This is the building. Uh, you, you could also have a one meter, which is like pavement for the the to identify the the what do you call it? Because some some people they have less fortunate. They may be blind, uh, so you could change between the seating and between the. Uh, the buildings you could change the pavement one you could give 2.4 for local material cement but this could be basalt so when people step on it they can feel it but as i said seating seating those are the deciduous high canopy trees like the poncianas or the jacarandas or the robinia zudio acacia then you have the bicycle lane and then you have the pedestrian crossing you make it wide and nice the movement and then high canopy trees either the palmettos or the ficus nitides it depends on the planting trees or the trees that they are available 